God always keeps his promises. When we pray, we can take his promise and turn it into a power prayer. Here's how it works. Do you remember when the Lord God took all one million Israelites out of Egypt where they were slaves? Do you remember how he sent the nine plagues and parted the Red Sea? Who would you be celebrating? God, right? Well, we join Moses up a mountain where he's been hanging out with God and he's been gone a while. When is Moses coming back? Can we go look for him? We don't know when Moses will be back, but you must not follow him up the mountain. He is alone with God. Who knows, maybe Moses isn't coming back. If he doesn't come back, what will we do? Let's ask Aaron to let us make a statue to worship. Yes, we want a God we can see. Feeling lost without their leader, the people forget God's commandments and their promise to worship only God. They bring their jewellery to Aaron who melts it and makes a golden statue of a cow. It looks just like one of the gods that our neighbours worship in Egypt. Tomorrow will be a feast day and we will worship a new god then. Early the next morning, the people bring their offerings to the altar before the golden calf. They eat and drink and dance with joy. But while the people are celebrating, Moses starts to come down from the mountain. And on the way, he meets Joshua. Listen, Moses, it sounds like war in our camp. No, I hear singing, don't you? Moses cannot believe what he sees. How dare you cheat God. You promised to worship only God and already you're worshipping a statue of a cow. Shocked by the sight of Moses' rage, the people stop worshipping the golden cow. What will Moses do to us? Aaron, who made this idol? It's not my fault. The people gave me the gold. I just threw it into the fire and, and out came this golden calf. Then throw it back into the fire. Moses melts the idol. He grinds up the gold and then he dumps it in the river. Now all of you drink this water. It's awful. Drink it. Ah, oh, this will make us sick. Just drink it. Let this be a lesson to you. Ponder your faithlessness while I go up back up the mountain and ask God to forgive you. High on the mountain, where he received God's commandments, Moses kneels to pray. These are a stubborn, rebellious people. Leave me, Moses, so I may destroy them. Lord, please forgive them. You promised Abraham, Isaac and Jacob to bless their descendants. I know they don't deserve it, but if you destroy them, the other nations will think you can't fulfill your promises. Back in camp, the people pray for Moses' safe return. They hope beyond hope that the Lord will forgive them. But when they see Moses coming down the mountain, they are terrified. It's Moses, but look at his face, it's bright as the sun. The glory of having been with God shines on Moses' face. He covers his face with a veil so that the people will not be frightened. Don't be afraid, God has forgiven you. So let's recap and see how a power prayer works. God always keeps his promises. When we pray, we can take his promise and turn it into a power prayer. God had saved his people, the Israelites. Everyone knew it. God said, I saved you, now follow me, and you will be my treasured possession. But instead of treasuring God, the Israelites treasured their gold instead. They built a fake god in the shape of a cow from all their gold and worshipped that instead. They said crazy things like, this cow saved us from Egypt. 
you can imagine how God felt. Upset and angry. So upset that he wanted to start all over again with his people and wipe them out. But this is when Moses prayed a power prayer. Moses took God's promise that they were his treasured possession. And he said to God, we've messed up God, please forgive us. We don't deserve it, but you don't destroy something you treasure, right? And because God always keeps his promises, he didn't destroy his treasured possession, his people, even though they messed up big time. God forgave them because of Moses' power prayer. But as a reminder of how foolish it is to follow fake gods, Moses made the people drink the water the gold had been ground into. Yuck! Many years later, there was a better Moses. Jesus also went up a mountain to plead for forgiveness from God for us. And he didn't come down. He took our place on the cross so we can be forgiven and be God's forever treasured possession. Now that's good news. Here's a power prayer you can pray. Thank you, Jesus, that on the cross you said it is finished. Thank you that death and sin forever are finished because of you. Help us know you have done it all so we can live for you today. Amen.